Hey guys, um, so I've decided to do another Healbot video because it's been it's been a while since I did the last one, and the last one seemed to um, have helped quite a few few people and. Uh, there's been a few changes with the Hillbot, and you know I have some better equipment, so it's a little more clear. So, figure I'll go through basically do what I did with the last video, only um, you know with the new changes and everything. So, first I'll start with uh, going through all the settings. Uh, the general tab just has obviously your general stuff uh, to disable Hillbot. Show the mini map button, uh, the hide options button which, uh, as you can see on my screen, hold on, let me, there we go, I'll move it out of the way. The options button's right there. I like to move it, and I select right-click op, uh, right-click to open the options, so I just right-click on the, uh, frame. Uh, enable libquick health. Uh, not entirely sure what that is. Uh, okay, it requires a UI reload, so I'm not going to change that. Um, CPU profiler, I assume that's uh, maybe another add-on or something to do with your CPU. I don't know, I would look into that if uh, you have CPU problems. My processor is quite beefy, so I don't. Uh, this is how often it checks the range and auras and aggro and all that. Uh, I like to keep it pretty high, so it checks it quite often. Uh, here's a whole bunch of different commands that you can do. Uh, like, uh, you know, if you, your healbot seems to have uh, crashed, or not crashed, but like froze up, you can reset the buffs or, uh, you know, clear some things, refresh it basically. Uh, if you want to configure settings for specific people, like specific classes, or uh, specific roles, like melee, range, or healers, I, I just set it for custom and I select all of them. Uh, you know, here's some info that's like the, um, what's it called? The, um, all this stuff, the version, that's what I was trying to think of. Oh the close button. There we go. And then obviously reset, reload, switch to default, all that good stuff. Spells. Here's uh, where you'll be spending quite a bit of time. It's uh, what your clicks do. Enable all bars at all times. That's what I like to do. You can disable it when out of combat. I prefer to just keep it enabled all the time. Here's the button you'll be clicking. Uh, left button, middle button, that's your scroll button right button, and then it has another, um, uh, what is this, 12, 12 buttons for mice that have more than, I guess, three buttons. Mine doesn't, so I don't mess with those. And also, um, you can choose when to cast. You can either cast when you first click the button, or when you release the button. I prefer releasing, just because, uh, you know, if you go to cast a spell and you realize someone else needs to heal more, you can instead click and um, drag rather than clicking it, having it already have casted your spell, and then you have to wait till you cast another one. Um, yeah, here's all of your spells that you'll actually use when you click. So left button, just the regular click I have set for my rejuvenation. If you haven't noticed, this is my druid, because my paladin no longer heals. Um, I have shift click, my regrowth, uh, control click, remove corruption, or sorry, corruption. Uh, alt click is my swift mend, and then I don't mess with any of these. Uh, middle, I also have remove corruption as my middle click. And then, you know, same thing, you can do shift-click and alt-click and all that. Right-click, I have my life bloom. Shift-click is healing touch. Control-click is also remove corruption. That was just the default. I haven't actually changed that. Alt-click is wall growth. And I actually need to add a few more buttons, but I think we're good for now. Um, 
you can auto target so you target the target that you're casting it on. I prefer not to do that. Uh, here's the skins. This is another place that you will spend quite a lot of time. This is aesthetics. This is how you want your bars to look and all that. Uh, you can change. Um, there's a few preset builds. I just do standard and I change how I want to. Uh, you can share it with people. I've never actually gotten this option to work. Um, I don't know if they have to be in your party or close to you or connected with some other out, outside program or something. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so I guess look into that if you really want to. Um, okay, so general is obviously the skin default. Uh, it's your general stuff. I keep that to none. Lock position if you don't want it to be moving around. Uh, what I usually do is um, I keep it unlocked when I'm just running around and I will go ahead and lock it once I'm in like a raider party. Um, frame anchor, this is where you want actually. I'm going to, um, yeah, test bar is on. On. Mm, oh, there we go. It's just taking a while. Uh, let's not do that many. Let's do... Let's do a 10 man. Okay, so... I'll just uh, show you here's testing. Um, uh, maybe that's not so good. Anyways, um, so skins, uh, frame anchor is where the anchor of the actual frame around it, you can't really see it because I have it uh, kind of low visually. You can see it right there, it's a little frame around it. Uh, bars anchor is where your bars will be anchored. I um, This is also where you'll appear. I like to keep it at the top right, sometimes the bottom right, uh, just so you yourself are always in the same position. Uh, play sound on open, that's self-explanatory. High party frames, that's uh, the default frames, I'm, I believe. Disable bar whenever 100 range, that means, or sorry, 100 yards. That is, if someone is 100 yards away from you, the bar will be disabled, so you can tell. Uh, use fluid bars, just makes it uh, a little smoother when you run it. Refresh multiplier, obviously, I keep that up high. I want, to, I want it to be refreshed quite a bit. Background border and the actual border, these are the colors. Um, you know, if you want it, oh, actually, uh, yeah. You can see my border is changing, if you, or my background is changing. Uh, I like to keep it pretty low visually. Uh, healing, these are what's what appears here. Uh, obviously you want yourself, uh, groups, raid, I usually keep raid checked and group unchecked because raid does what groups do only more. Uh, main tanks, that's good for if uh, your raid leader marks who are the tanks. Uh, this will put them together so it's kind of nice. Focus, if you use focus, I use it sometimes, I've actually found myself using it more during Cataclysm. Um, That'll put that in a specific place. Pets, if you want to view them, I usually don't just because uh, eh, I, I feel it is the duty of the owner to keep their pet healed. Uh, pretty much every class can heal their own pets some way, and they should be smart and move their pet out of fire and all that, so I don't bother wasting my mana on pets. Uh, main assist, same thing as main tank if your raid leader marks it. Uh, my target, I don't have that marked. It puts a uh, whoever your target is. It puts another bar down there. Uh, vehicle, obviously, if you're in a vehicle, that'll pop up. Um, we have alerts. Uh, alerts don't really come to place too much. I actually don't see them. Uh, okay, looks like it only works with aggro. Uh, so these are the different alerts that it'll well, alert you about. You know, ha you have no thread or 
or sorry, tank has no threat. Tank has threat, but it's not tanking. Uh, tank is tanking, but he's not the highest threat. Um, tank has threat. Which is a good way to see that if you actually use the aggro, which I do not. I use a uh, omen threat meter for my threat. Uh, you can show the uh, raid bars. It's kind of nice. Sort. You can uh, sort the raid bars. You can sort it by you know sort it by health or sort it by class or whatever. I just keep it with group and so it all sits there. Subsort roll. That's really nice. You can subsort it by max health, which also works this, almost the same way, because usually the tank will be sorted first. Uh, but with roll, the tank will also be sorted first, so I like that. Um, hide bars over 100 range or 100 yards. Same thing with the uh, disabling the bar at 100 range. Uh, it works the same way, just hides it. So go on to headers. If you want to show headers. Uh, let's see if it updates it. Yeah. So if you want it this sort of way, where um, you know it has yourself, the main tanks, it all have the healers, the groups. Um, I personally don't like that just because I'm constantly looking at who are the tanks, who are the healers, who are the DPS. So I kind of already know that, and. Um, uh, it's just unneeded uh, spa uh, screen usage, and I like to keep my screen pretty clear. But if you want to use that, you know, here's the bar colors, the texture color, or sorry, text colors, different textures that you can put. I'll I'll go through these real quick. You know, different textures. These are of the actual bars themselves, like the self, the main tank. Uh, you can know, you can change the bar color. Let's change it to a Red, so, you know, red you know, text color obviously is text color. The height of them, the width of them, the font, font size, all that good stuff. Oh, actually, let me disable that. Here is your actual bars that you'll be using. Let's see. Let's just move this over here. Uh, let's see. I'm on 16 different textures. If you want, actually, kind of like that. Uh. I, I sort of switch between textures, kind of what I'm in the mood for. Uh, let's go... Let's use that one. Number of columns. I like to keep it at five, because if you're in a 10-man, then it's uh, two rows. If you're in a 25-man, it's uh, five rows. You can keep it at two columns if you really want. You know, have a nice box. One column if you just want to strip. Uh, you know, 12 columns if you wanted to stretch across your entire screen. Uh, it's, you know, it's all what you want. Uh, I prefer 5. Uh, height, that's the height of the individual bars. You can make them nice and big, nice and thick, or you can make them super, super tiny. Once again, it's all about uh, what you want. I preferred it. A reasonable size, so the text, you can see the text, you can see the bars, and uh, you have no problems clicking what you need. Width, obviously, same way. You can have really thick ones, or sorry, really long ones. Really, really small ones. Oh, where was I? 129? Well, it looks about right. Uh, row spacer, that's how many... Um, you know how much space between the rows. It actually doesn't get that high if you bring it all the way up. I usually just leave it zero. Column spacer works the same way. Once again, not a huge uh, range of how far you can go. Um, enabled occupus. I hate this word. Opacity. Opacity. Enabled opacity is uh you know how. Uh, dense it looks. You know, if you want it to be see-through, you can do that. Mm, let's see if it updates. Oh, these might not be enabled. I prefer to keep it 